Ladies and gentlemen, once again welcome back to our channel. And the topic for today's Kobol tutorial is Kobol merge statement. The entire presentation is divided into three sections. First one is introduction to Kobol merge statement. Then we will focus on Kobol merge statement syntax detail. And in last section we will focus on Kobol merge statement example so that you can understand how you can use COBOL merge statement in your program. So ladies and gentlemen, before I start with today's presentation, I would request you all to do subscribe to our channel because we need your support to grow our channel. And in case if you have already subscribed to our channel, then I would like to say a big thank you for your subscription. So let's get started with introduction to COBOL merge statement. So let's say you're working on a project where you have a requirement to combine data from two or more similar files. For example, employ monthly salary data. So in this scenario, you can use either a JCL sort utility or probably you can use a COBOL program to merge data from two identical files. So in COBOL, you can use COBOL merge statement to combine data from the files. The COBOL merge statement compares record from two or more sequenced file and combine them in an order. And remember, you can add, delete or change records after they are merged. The COBOL merge statement is like the COBOL sort statement and it handles the opening and closing of files. Also, it reads and writes data from and to files automatically. Finally, you're not required to include additional logic in your COBOL program to read or write uh, data from your file or probably opening and closing of files the way you used to do with other COBOL programs, right? So now let's move on to the next section that is merge statement syntax detail. In this section, we will focus on the syntax of COBOL merge statement and what are the important points that you should always remember when you're using the merge statement in your COBOL program. The syntax of COBOL merge statement is fairly simple and easy to understand. There are four important parameters that is used in the COBOL merge statement. So let's discuss about all these parameters one by one. So the first one is work file and it is specified after the merge keyword. So this is actually a temporary file which is used for merge operation and it is similar to what you specify in the sort statement. The second important parameter is key where you need to specify the field which would be used as a key. And remember the merge program sort the record based on one or more key fields. And each key field can be sorted in ascending or descending sequence. Third important parameter is input file here you need to specify the list of files that you would be merging in your COBOL program. And the fourth important parameter is output file. So in this case, you need to specify the output file that will hold merge data. And the last important point is input and output procedures. So you need to remember that you cannot use input procedures with merge statement. However, you can use output procedures with the merge statement. And I have created a separate video on how to use input and output procedures in Kubul sort and Kubul merge statement. Now let's look at a couple of important points before we move to the example section. So the first important point is that all the input files should be sorted in a specific sequence, either in ascending order or in a descending order. Because in case if you do not provide a sorted file, then your merge statement will not going to work. The input file for a merge operation can have fixed length or a variable length record as long as the key values are in the same location in each record. The next important point is that you do not require to add additional logic for opening or closing the files or reading or writing data to your files. Apart from that, you cannot use input procedures in the merge statement. And last important point is that in case if you want to perform an internal sort or merge operation, then you need to define a work area. And in COBOL program, the work area or a temporary file is actually defined with SD statement in the file section of data division. 
Now let's move on to the next section where we'll focus on a sample COBOL program which is performing the COBOL merge operation. So here's a sample program which is actually merging data from two separate identical files which is holding employee salary data for January and February month and just writing the combined data into a third file that is sal-merge. Now let's look at each division of this program so that you can have a good understanding of the entire COBOL program structure and the logic which is used in this program. So the first division is identification division and it is generally used for documentation purpose. So the important parameter of identification division is program ID where you need to specify the program name. The second important division is environment division and in file control section I have defined four files. The first two files are my input files which is holding January and February month employee salary data and the third file is actually an output file which would be holding the combined result of or records from both files. The fourth file is actually sal-work is actually a work file that would be used for merge operation. The third division is data division and in file section I have specified the structure of all four files. So if you see the last file that is defined uh, with st statement that is uh, sal-work so it is a file which would be used for merge operation right and the key that I've used is emp-id. Similarly if you move to the fourth uh, division that is procedure division and in this case you have a paragraph called 000-main-logic where I've specified the merge statement. So the syntax is COBOL merge keyword followed by sal-work so this is a work file on ascending key so I'm using uh, key as EMP ID and I've specified the sequence as ascending and the third is using sal-jan sal-fab so these are my two input files that I'm using for merge operation and the last line of the COBOL merge statement is giving sal-merge so this is my output file which will records of both input files and the last line of the program is stop run which will going to terminate the program once the processing is completed. So ladies and gentlemen this marks an end to our today's presentation and I would request you all to do subscribe to our channel because we need your support to grow our channel. Once again I would like to say a big thank you for your support.